Five years ago, we came here on our honeymoon and we fell in love with Victoria and we bought into a building that was just getting redone or rebuilt or built. And uh, we just kept coming back. We started loving the city more and more and more. And when we finally moved here, it just became part of us. It's the city welcomed us with open arms. And that's the, the, uh, the title of our show is uh, Our Home is Here because it took a while for us to kind of fall into our groove of our home being here, wouldn't you say? Yeah, pretty much. And the show last year was called Where We Meet. Where We Meet because it was kind of where we, where we met, I guess. It was all the people that we just started to meet all in one location and yeah. It just felt like our lives were falling into place last year when we moved here. So the title when we had a show here last year, last August, it just, where we meet just felt right. Just because everything, all the people we were meeting, the inspiration we were having, all of that was just happening together. And then this year to celebrate the second show at Phillips, we thought let's do it as our home is here. We've been here a year and a half now and we thought let's just combine it now. And so now this is our home, These are this is our neighborhood, these are our people. Let's, celebrate hopefully everyone will come out and celebrate all our pieces are inspired by us by the neighborhood can you talk can you talk a little bit more about why you do and why you do okay um i do i usually do uh, much more watercolor paintings um but i did i decided to go more with the pen and ink for this one so a lot more um buildings and, and city profiles uh, nightscapes cityscapes and I wanted to stay away from the color as much as I could. And that kind of lent well with what Nathan was doing because he does just these beautiful colored pieces. So it, it gives a great juxtaposition between our two styles. <laughs> Pretty much, I, I saw he was doing just uh, the black and white pen and ink drawings and I'm known for graffiti and last year I had a couple graffiti pieces in the show and this year I kind of wanted to stay away from that and play around with the abstract stuff that I've been doing. So I thought this year I'll just add two small elements of graffiti and then the rest just abstract pieces and then all the color that I'm inspired by like Fisgard Street with the lanterns, the light, the all the lights, the sunrises, sunsets that we see every day, the water and all that, that's what inspired my pieces. But pretty much the direct like, you know, six block radius of Fisgard Street inspired all my stuff here today. And I thought it would go nice with Chris's because his is detailed and simple for to look at, black and white. And I thought mine will add that little bit of color. It'd be opposite almost, like two interpretations of the same neighborhood, just totally opposite. I thought hopefully it'd be received okay. So earlier you were saying that you've been painting since you were eight or? Yeah, my mom put me in watercolor painting when I was about eight years old, so about 29 years now. And uh, I've been just dabbling more or less for like say maybe 15, 16 years and just kind of, it's what, it, what, it's what relaxes me. So it's great when I can come home and spend two or three hours painting. It's just kind of that relaxing part of the day. And yeah, it's just, it's something I've always done since I was a little kid. So it's just that part of my life, I guess. It's never gonna go away. I got into, I've always been drawing, my mom said, but around maybe like early 80s, mid 80s, I saw a movie that got me into graffiti and hip hop scene and stuff. And so I was probably about nine or 10, I started drawing graffiti lettering and trying to copy what I saw. And as I got older, it just stuck with me in school, did people's names for fun, for birthdays and stuff. I do little drawings for people and I just always did it for fun. It's the same idea as his, it just relaxes me, pen and paper, just doodle, kind of de-stress a bit. And as I got older, it just kept going with it painting walls, doing murals for people, jackets, shoes, canvases. And then uh, maybe about 12 or 13 years ago or so, I started just playing around with abstract pieces. I didn't ever paint with acrylics and, and or watercolors or oils. I just thought it's always spray paint. So I thought I'll just try something different. Started doing abstract acrylics and just kind of went with it from there. And now I kind of alternate between the two. I kind of blend my abstracts with my graffiti background and come up with what you see here today. How long the show is going to be here for? Uh, it's going to I be up. I think he first said first or until, second week of September. Yeah, I think I think it's actually the second Thursday. I think he said of September or second Wednesday. I think. Something like we're not totally sure yet. It's because of the long weekend. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. He said it's going to switch around. It might be a little bit longer than we thought. So he was going to let us know tonight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> longer the better, I guess. Yeah. Uh, not, my last question is, um, are you working in something else, another show or something else? Oh, how you work for your shows? 
Uh, yeah, well, today we just found out uh, a couple hours ago that being around the world's got a little space for us in September. So we've got about three weeks to come up with some new material for, <laughs> yeah. for that. So it's nice because we live next door to Bean. We go there a couple times a day, every day. We see the same people all the time. So it, it feels like our home is here. This is here as well. But that's even closer to home. It's almost like our like it's almost like another room in our place. Yeah. Yeah. But that'll be pretty fun. It'll be our first time there. Yeah, so, very interesting. Not sure what we're going to do yet. We just found out a few hours ago. <laughs> uh, okay. I was going to ask you, uh, are you going to have uh, drawings too or paintings? But you don't know. Uh, at this point, I have no idea. It's going to be no paintings because it's got to be a wall space. There's no shelves yeah. for any any sculptures or anything like that. So painting, probably abstract or graffiti for me. I'm not sure yet. I haven't thought too far ahead into it. I don't know, I don't know what you're going to do. I think yet. I'm going to go back to do some uh, kind of watercolor stuff again. Do a little bit more. I don't know, maybe change it up a little bit. This will give me some new ideas. So, yeah, we'll see where it goes. Mm. See wherever the inspiration takes you, I guess. <laughs> see what happens. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank oh, you thank very you. much.